MC Hammer and Kanye Minogue provide the best music around this Thursday in Top of the Pops. Then at 7.30, the best laid plans. Oi, Ricky. What? What are you doing tonight? Who wants to know? I want to know if that's all right with you. Tomorrow's World at 8 o'clock asks why both Tom Katz and Greenfly find the smell of the catnip plant so attractive. For the Greenfly, a case of fatal attraction. And for the last word... Permission to speak, sir. Yes, but make it quick. <laughs> After the news, a postcard from Sydney from Clive James. The transport's excellent. The monorail runs from the middle of downtown Sydney to the middle of downtown Sydney. After circumnavigating the middle of downtown Sydney. In Question Time tonight, I'm joined by the former Foreign Secretary Sir Geoffrey Howe, Labour's Paul Burting, Arch Thatcherite Lady Porter and feminist writer Rosalind Miles. And with Heartbeat at 11.25, Thursday evening on BBC One has got the lot. Number one. In the new number one magazine, you'll find an exclusive souvenir of the SOS number one awards featuring all the winners. Number one. It's the one and only. Neighbours star Christian Schmidt gives us some girl talk. Kylie talks seriously about her life. And Danny gives us the lowdown on her music. Check it out. You're number one for music. Every week, there's posters, song words, and the Top of the Pops chart. Plus, this week, there are some amazing competitions. Number one. You can be in the know now with the BBC's number one magazine. Wow! Am I as clever as the masterminds? Find out in 30 minutes. There are also live robots in here. I expect they'll get their act right at least. First, let's catch up on the busy world of those in and around Albert Square. I'm not allowed to say how many planes joined the raid, but I counted them all out, and I counted them all back. The crowd is still here. They're shouting, stop the killing, and down with the government. Dawn, and as the sun breaks through the piercing chill of night, it lights up a biblical famine. At times of great joy or crisis, most of us tune to the BBC. Perhaps that's why we remember these pictures. Tell the world, they said to us. The BBC, news coverage at its best. Fish soup is on the menu, mangrove swamps and crocodiles provide the scenery as gastronaut Keith Floyd continues his tour of Oz on BBC Two now. Here on One, more of the wonders we can expect to find in tomorrow's world. <laughs>